With the Flynn plea deal, the man described as President Trump's favorite general could possibly turn against him. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts has the latest from the North Lawn. Good evening, John. Uh, good evening to you, Brighton. Certainly the White House seeming to turn against Michael Flynn. The White House doing its best to diminish Michael Flynn's role here, pointing out that he was the national security advisor for just a scant 25 days. Also, that he was a former official in the Obama administration. But today's guilty plea moves the Mueller investigation from the Trump campaign to right inside the gates of the White House. General you feel you betrayed your country. The White House took a nothing to see here approach to Michael Flynn's guilty plea today. Attorney Ty Cobb in a statement saying, quote, nothing about the guilty plea or the charge implicates anyone other than Mr. Flynn. Cobb pointed out that Flynn was charged with virtually the same thing that got him fired earlier this year, saying, quote, the false statements involved mirror the false statements to White House officials, which resulted in his resignation in February of this year. But the charging documents reveal more people knew what Flynn was up to in his conversations with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak than the White House has so far admitted. According to the information, on December 29th, Flynn called a member of the Trump transition team at Mar-a-Lago to discuss what, if anything, he should communicate to Russia about sanctions. A source with knowledge of the investigation identifies that official as Flynn's deputy, K.T. McFarland. After the two spoke, Flynn called Kislyak to ask Russia to moderate its response to sanctions. Following that conversation, Flynn called the transition official back to report on the substance of his call. The next day, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced he would not take retaliatory action against the sanctions, prompting President-elect Trump to tweet, quote, Great move on delay by V. Putin. I always knew he was very smart. Somehow, that information was never passed to Vice President Mike Pence, who in an appearance on Fox News Sunday 17 days later denied any knowledge of Flynn's conversations. Did Mike Flynn ever discuss lifting sanctions in any of those conversations? Do you know? I talked to General Flynn yesterday, and the conversations uh, that took place at that time uh, were not in any way related uh, to new U.S. sanctions. Uh, against Russia or the expulsion of diplomats. A month after that, President Trump denied he had anything to do with the call. Did you direct Mike Flynn to discuss sanctions with the Russian ambassador? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Inauguration. No, I didn't. And Mike, excuse me. No, I fired him because of what he said to Mike Pence. Very simple. Mike was doing his job. He was calling countries and his counterparts. So it certainly would have been okay with me if he did it. I would have directed him to do it if I thought he wasn't doing it. What remains to be seen now that Michael Flynn is fully cooperating with special counsel Robert Mueller is what else there might be out there. A source familiar with the investigation tells Fox News that the White House is absolutely confident that there's nothing else that will come to light that they don't already know about. And what they already know about, they say, shows no evidence of wrongdoing in terms of collusion with Russia. Brett? John Roberts, live on the North Lawn. John, thanks.